This is a perfect meeting to start working with uh, other space agencies in terms of how collectively we as a community from agencies down to academics can move forward. Um, so far I think the conference has been going really well. It's important for the international ocean color community to get together and to begin to coordinate some of their scientific issues but also make sure our entire international user base has the opportunity to not only discuss research but some of the major problems in ocean color remote sensing. These, these conferences are great because um, you have the scientists from all, all the regions of the world and you have the representatives of the space agencies, so the people that are designing the next generation of satellites and sensors. It's our chance to talk to them and to explain to them the best way of designing the sensors so that we can extract useful information from them. These meetings are excellent for networking. We get more done outside of the session over a coffee or over breakfast and just seeing it's such an international community that you have to come to these things and you have to be able to travel simply to see your colleagues build connections. The attendance is spectacular. It's far better attended than I, I would have hoped for. I think the goal is to have the conference discuss some of the recommendations and issues and then issue a short report at the end which would allow everyone to have a say in what needs to be done but also notify the agencies as what steps we need to take to sort of resolve the issues. Getting the feedback from not only the research community but the broad user community in general allows us to really start to resolve some of these issues. And with a broad user community here, you get facets of the problems that you didn't realize were actually issues. We're using satellite measurements of the color of the ocean to try to determine what's inside the ocean. So if you have a blue ocean or a green ocean, the color of the ocean depends on the particles which are in the ocean and we can detect that from satellites. These particles when they fall to the bottom they uh, decrease the water depth and if they come to the beach then they can accumulate on the beach and change the, the shape of the beach. These are sediment transport problems that the marine managers have to deal with and they have to understand how these particles are moving and how they can be better constrained and better managed. We're very much looking forward to when Sentinel-3 data comes online because that'll give us better data for chlorophyll in coastal waters. At the moment we use um, data from Siviri on Mediasat second generation. It's very interesting because it's on a geostationary platform which means that it, it effectively stays over the same pot spot the whole day long. With Siviri we can look at the North Sea every 15 minutes. That's very interesting because there's things like clouds which move during the day and data from Sent Sentinel-3 for example will have one image per day. Data from Siviri has 32 images per day so if the clouds are moving then we'll at least get some data during the day. We're very interested in MTG, we're going to try and do something with it. Um, we're interested to see whether we can detect chlorophyll with MTG so we need to do some theoretical work first.